What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel today I've got of course another official 2022 NBA mock draft video to of course be going over with you guys this time I actually wanted to talk about who I think the New Orleans Pelicans should select with the 8th overall pick again so many people have different players on who they want them to take I think a lot of people have some very very different ideas and you guys will see that in my video where I kind of talk about, you know, some of these ideas and the direction that I think David Griffin and the Pelicans will potentially be going in next year. So again, of course, this will be a clip from my official 2022 NBA mock draft. If you guys would like to go and see that, please do. It will be linked in the description down below. You guys can go and see, you know, what, you know, what other players I have going to all the other teams. Again, of course, that will be linked in the description down below but I guess without further ado let's just get straight into it now moving over to the eighth pick we've actually got the New Orleans Pelicans who are a really weird team to actually kind of look at picking because a couple months ago I would have said they desperately needed a point guard but it seems like they've really kind of changed their mold on how they're actually running things in fact they've actually been playing CJ McCollum a lot at that point guard position predominantly the whole time pretty much he's been at New Orleans they've been running him at that point guard spot again he's been doing much better defensively there his playmaking and facilitating has actually improved greatly um, on the Pelicans and yeah he even got them to the playoffs and looked like he was a really good player to have alongside um, you know Brandon Ingram and Jonas Valanciunas and then you've got the guy who's I wouldn't say he's forgotten. I think people still know he's in the NBA, but I don't know what he's doing. Um, just, I don't know. He, he shares a very common goal in me, and that's consume as much KFC as we want. And that's Zion Williamson. I, I don't honestly know what he's doing, but I would imagine the Pelicans' plan would still be to run him as a point-forward type of player, similar to what they did um, a little bit ago. And that's why I actually don't have them taking a point guard. Considering I already know CJ McCollum's going to be their starting point guard, it looks like, for the future. Um, and then you've already got uh, Zion being that point forward type of player as well. I think they might just sign a veteran point guard to come off their bench and honestly go with more of a wing with this pick. And I actually think they might go for a guy like Johnny Davis, who I wasn't exactly extremely high on to start off with but he's kind of come out of nowhere and um really done well in kind of i think a lot of mock draft things he played pretty well in his you know latter games in college and i think yeah it's really put a lot of people to kind of put a different perspective on him again he's a really crafty player with the ball in his hands has a really really good capability of scoring um, from the mid-range and potentially, of course, you know, just getting into the lane as well. Um, he's known to be a pretty good shooter. Again, not necessarily a knockdown shooter so far from the three-point line. But I think considering, you know, the um, Pelicans already got their shot creators figured out in their starting five with CJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram, and Zion Williamson, I would think it'd actually be pretty cool to bring a young shot creator um, off, the bench, off the bench rather, and I think that Johnny Davis would be a nice guy. Again, they've got Herbert Jones in that starting five too, who played really good defense all year um, and averaged around 10 points per game. They might be moving on from Devontae Graham, who they didn't so like to play in the latter of the year. Again, so they'll be trading a shot creator away there. I uh, would we'll assume they're keeping Larry Nance and Trey Murphy, all those type of role players, and none of them are shot creators. Um, so I think it makes a whole lot of sense to maybe bring in a dude that has a really nice mid-range, a really good capability of getting to the basket, and yeah, just coming in and doing that. And again, that three-point jumper, it will come. It, it doesn't necessarily um, have to be there straight away. Again, around Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram, those players would love to drive the ball. I think it'll be a lot easier to get open shots eventually, and again, as that season progress, uh, progresses, I'm sure his shot creation will, you know, I think improve a lot better. And yeah, I just think it would be really nice. Again, although I have Johnny Davis going at this pick, I think someone in the comments might potentially argue with me saying, why didn't I take a dude like Dyson Daniels? 
The reason I didn't take Dyson Daniels with this pick is because, as I said, I don't think the Pelicans are looking for a point guard now. I think they really want CJ to be their point guard for the foreseeable future. I think they'll also really want to run the ball through Zion as a point forward type role, similar to what he was doing um, in the year before he got injured. Again, Zion is an extremely underrated playmaker, and if any of you have watched him play basketball, you will know that. And then I think their idea would be to maybe go after a, a veteran point guard off the bench to... Uh, you know, just come in and play those type of minutes. So I think they'll be in more of a market for a shot-creating wing, and that's why I have them taking Johnny Davis. So yeah, I think it it would make the most amount of sense for them to, of course, do that. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest NBA content and NBA news. Of course, don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys think it makes a whole lot of sense for Dyson Daniels to... You know, of course, maybe go in the top 10. Same with Jalen Duran, all that type of stuff. Uh, what do you guys think about my official mock draft? Um, do you guys agree with some of my picks? Do you guys think I took some players too high, some too low? Uh, definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Um, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, my IRO slash loan channel, and my podcast, which I'll all be linking them down below as well. But again, as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Dance through the highways and the